right, sound check, one, two. Oh, hang on, the box. I got it. There we go. All right. Hi. Yeah, same to you. Where's the power switch on this thing? There we go. Okay. Well, we're going to do mailbag in here, I think. And uh, let's see, news of the week. Well, the, uh, we're down to just one big kitten and one little kitten right now. That's uh, Cash and Crank. And uh, Cash is uh, still looking for the right adopter. Crank's not looking yet, uh, but, uh, but Cash definitely is. So um, you should think about applying. Otherwise, I don't think there's any news. That's, uh, that's basically it for the week. Uh, obviously, we got a new mom cat in. That's a big deal. Um, but uh, we have no idea when she's going to deliver. We know that Dr. K checked her out and uh, determined that, that she probably had two kittens and uh, that, that uh, she could see skeletons. So that means we're within a couple weeks. And uh, that is, uh, that's about it, really. Cranky. Hi. Hi, kiddo. Would you at least come sit on my lap if you're going to take a little nap? Come here. Come here. Hi. Take a look at you real quick. Yeah, you look like you had some poops somewhere. Where are they? You should at least let me clean you up just a little. Actually, your mom should do it. She's really good at getting you to poop for her, isn't she? So we've had some ongoing issues with little Crank here, uh, and I think it's mostly around her GI, uh, her pooping specifically. And... Uh, TJ and I, the, one of the reasons that I was a little extra late getting the box here is TJ and I were just having a discussion about it. Um, she's got her first vet appointment scheduled for Thursday, and uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing imminent that would mean that we have, should take her in before then, but um, we're keeping an eye on, uh, on her pooping and her eating to make sure that everything's going through okay, and uh, yeah. I guess that's about it. There's not too much else I can say about it yet. Um, you know, we've got to wait and uh, see what we can find out from a, a real doctor. Um, but I haven't been able to get her to poop for me at all. And then yesterday uh, I was saying that I was thinking about separating her from her mom so that she would poop for me and I could get an idea how it is. Uh, but then she just wasn't doing it. And DJ seemed to think that having her with her mom at least gets her to pooping. So... Uh, that was probably a little bit more critical than trying to figure out what it's like. So, so that's the deal right now. That's why she's in here with her mom. Um, uh, we currently think that's pretty important for her. So, uh, I know that sometimes her mom plays with her a little rough, but that actually might be to her benefit as far as, um, getting stuff to kind of go through her system, uh, forcibly. <laughs> so, so it probably works out in her favor at the moment. Okay, let's dive right into our letters this morning. Hi, I know you are wild, aren't you? We've got quite a few uh, from familiar names, and so whenever I see that, I think, oh no, have I forgotten a holiday? But I think they're probably just late for uh, DJ's birthday. We'll find out. This says, okay to read on stream. It's addressed to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. It also says magnet enclosed. So, oh, so there is. Look at that. It says home is where your cat is. Well, that couldn't be more true. Cats, I suppose. Uh, oh, it's beautiful. Watercolor of a little pond in winter, I think. That's what I'm seeing anyway. Hi. And it says, hi, you've opened your house and your lives to share joy, safety, knowledge, and love to many critters over the years. You've shared with us viewers all the laughs. <clears throat> All the laughs, thoughts, and tears through the videos you post, as well as the live feeds daily. To the supporters in your inner cir circle, hi, you're being very helpful about this. To the supporters in your inner circle who help on a daily basis, and even the feline faculty members all have made a difference, the passion you show through the love you share is outstanding. Thank you for touching so many souls and sharing your time with us. I know there will be more memories and experiences to come, which I and others look forward to being a part in. You are appreciated and valued for all you do. Fondly, Pauline B. That is such a, a sweet thing to say and such a wonderful way to say it. Thank you very much for that. Um, I realize I should take a look and just make sure that I'm audible and maybe adjust the camera that's behind me a little bit. 
Let's take a look. If I turn myself just a scooch, maybe I can get my lap onto that camera. As long as this little kid's going to sit here for a minute, we'll see. Hi. Let's see if that works just a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, checking the sound. Let's see. Everybody can hear me, right? Let's see. There'll be complaints if they can't. Seems like everybody can hear me just fine. Okay. Wow, that's quite a yell. All right. That must be Cash looking for, oh, attention and not getting the attention he was looking for. You don't have to be angry at him. I was going to try to get you guys to play together after mailbag. <clears throat> Maybe not, though. So here we've got one from Quid and Raindrop with a really cute little cat flying a cardboard box on the back. Can you stop being so violent towards kittens that you see through the window? If you ever want to go out and play... Come on, now. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, how are you? This is Raindrop of the April Me Hours class. You might remember me from when my cat mom put me in the tech box. I have been doing great myself. And I do remember that. Wow, that seems like such a long time ago. I diligently snuggle my new human mom and quid daily. I'm not yet friends with the grumpy potato senior cat to snuggle him to, but we're taking it slow. Also, I have a human question for you. My human recently started making a funny clicking sound when she gives me treats. I don't mind the noise because I like training her to give me a treat whenever I touch my nose to a stick. But is that normal? Do all humans make clicking sounds when they give you treats? If so, why do they do that? Love and spoogles to all, Raindrop. That is adorable. And of course, that means that uh, Raindrop is being clicker trained. So that's a great thing. Uh, cats are, are you know, very smart and very trainable. People don't really normally think of cats as being trainable, but any animal is trainable, if you train them. So, uh, uh, dear Mr. A, my mom said I had to write you a note, and it had to be at least five sentences, but not counting that one or that. Anyway, hi, how are you? I'm quit. I'm doing just fine. It's my birthday soon. I'm very nearly as big as Raindrop. My paws are a lot bigger than hers, but she's a little taller. I don't know how big I will be next year, but based on how much I grew this year, it might be a lot. Okay, bye, quid. <laughs> That's very quid, written in all caps. <laughs> yes, you missed raindrops too. You can read it if you want. That's adorable. Thank you so much for sending well, those. Raindrops has nice fonts. And yes, nice and quid is just like a yes. It's ridiculous. Okay, this says okay to read on stream. It also says happy birthday. So I'm guessing this one is more about DJ, and it says it's from Mayhem and Bamboozle. And it's, uh, let's see, we've got six little cats, block print cats on the front wearing a light, uh, cute pink ribbon. It says, happy birthday to Mew. And then it says, DJ, I hope it's perfect and furbulously fun. Wow, that's a stretch. Hope you have a wonderful kitten spoogle field birthday. Wishing you all the best as you start the last year of your fellowship. Love, K.A. Bless 17, Mayhem, Bamboozle, and Daisy. So sweet. And there's Mayhem and Bamboozle gave us little uh, signatures here, little paw print signatures. There's also another note. See, I see you're trying to play with somebody through the door, but you're so aggressive about it. That's not how you're going to get to play with them. The teaspoon's there now, and she's banging on the door and then rolling over and trying to play. All right. DJ, guess what? It's your birthday! That is so exciting! Me and Bamboozle were very excited to pick out a cards for you and writes you a note. We is doing very well here in Vermont. We have been enjoying keeping up with and supervising the construction going on outside our windows. But today, we is watching them take down the scaffolding, so I guess they will be going away. Our mom is excited, though. She says that means she can go out on her balcony. We isn't too sure about that because we don't want to be left behind in sides, but she says she is going to figure out a way for us to go out there too and be safe. We has our paws crossed. We hopes you get extra churu for your birthday 
And Custeru gives you extra spoogles. We misses you lots. Lots of love, mayhem, and bamboozle. P.S. This is Bam. I let May write the note, but I says happy birthday too. I love getting notes from the alumni. Yes, they're adorable. There you go. It is too cute. What are you looking at, huh? What are you doing in there? Okay, yes. All right, this one has a cute little kitty face and a paw print drawn on the outside. Whoa, and on the inside it has Maggie and Teaspoon playing with a ball track and a princess tent. Look at that. And it's all 3D. That's very cool. Now the, the little ball that Teaspoon is playing with is even a real little ball. That's adorable. It says, thank you furry much from Rough House and Rumpus. This card was made at KA Con thanks to the wonderful materials supplied by Busy Cat. Thank you for making KA Con extra special this year by inviting everyone over to your home. We had a wonderful time. I still can't thank you enough for everything you do to take care of all the cats and kittens at KA and also for maintaining and creating the best online community on the internet. Happy birthday to DJ and also Merry Christmas in July. Love and Spoogles from Ruffy, Rumpus, and Megalina. Oh, thank you so much. This card is beautiful. You did a great job of putting that together. Um, like DJ said, um, yeah, here you go. Like DJ said, uh, I don't. You probably didn't hear because she's not mic'd. Um, uh, we did see some pictures online of people making those cards, and I was so impressed by the pictures on Discord. Um, I'm, it's, I'm glad we got one. Thank you for that. All right, here we have a fuzzy little gray and white kitty wearing glasses, sunglasses, the vampire sunglasses. Oh, and it looks like a gift card for DJ. I'll put that in here. It's a Starbucks card. It says, um, Dear Mommy, thank you for all you do for me. Your loving boy, Teaspoon. Aw, that's cute. And the, the caption for the card is, Okay, you can light the candles now. <laughs> that's why he's wearing the sunglasses. I see. Very cute. Well, you got a note from Teaspoon. There you go. Happy birthday. A little late, but that's okay. That's how I roll anyway. Hi, buddy. I see you just watching me like a little cutie bean. Yes, you are. Do you want to play? You want to poop? What do you want, huh? How did Teaspoon send the card? I don't know. He must have been saving his allowance. Let me see if I can feel your colon. Well, yeah, maybe. I feel something there. It doesn't feel super hard like teaspoons tends to get. Can you look at her butt? Yeah, I looked at it. It looks like a butt. It looks like she had some poops. It's a little dirty. No, except for the dirty part. Yeah. I don't know. Good. Well, that would be good. I do think that she had some poops overnight. I mean, she must have since her weight was down. Yeah, well, they're in mom, I think. I don't know how much you can hear of DJ's side of the conversation or if this is like listening to somebody on the telephone. Um, okay. This says, Dear Gadget and Crank, we hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys. The orange cat towers are also for both of you, love, Tahini and Flair. Of course, Tahini and Flair. So we got two sets of springs here. And I'm guessing those big boxes that were very light over there are going to be some ball towers. But I guess we'll find out when we get to it. Hi, buddy. Where are you going? You want to go check out those boxes I was pointing at? All right. I know. He's going to go right to the camera. She. She's going to go check out the camera? Okay. You're wondering why I'm sitting here talking to it? Yeah, she's like, why is Dad sitting here talking to this thing? I guess I'll go check it out. Oh, is this a game? Is the mail bag a game? Oh, do you want to open that? Okay. Here, you can you can open it for me. You don't want to? All right. Handle with care slash fragile must be Italian, it says on the box. That's convenient. And uh, there's a cute little paw print sticker here as well. I'm going to need a knife now to keep going on this. Here we go. 
Oh, uh, inside there is a note, and it looks like some other interesting stuff. Hi, okay, you want to help take this out of the bag? Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. What Ooh, we got a cool t shirt. She's just walking around. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read on stream. Another cool paw sticker. And uh, we got dolphins here that are making ee noises. That's the best I can do. Um, and it says, please enjoy this all porpoise greeting card. I see. Sorry, could not resist sending in a dad joke for mailbag. Hope this helps someone playing bingo on Discord from Mandy. Oh, but wait, there's more. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to the both of you for graciously opening your home to all of us KA Discorders. This was my first year attending KA Con, and it was the most fun I've had in a long time. Everyone was so super nice and welcoming, I can't wait to go again next year. Anyway, I live on the space coast of Florida and thought you might appreciate this shirt from Kennedy Space Center. Oh, I certainly will. Um, four times. That's great. She is drinking water all on her own. That's perfect. That's so nice to see. Four-time shuttle astronaut Bill MacArthur was there signing autographs, so I got him to sign a picture for you. Whoa! His very impressive bio is on the back of the picture. I've also enclosed a magazine from a flight I took a couple of months ago to Nassau, Bahamas for something different to look at. Thank you both again for everything you do for mom, cats, kittens, and faculty. You're amazing human beings. Uh, Love and Spoogles Mandy, who is Mandy Butter and Django's mom on Discord. This is so cool. Thank you very much for all of that. I'm so excited to look at that. So we have Up and Away In-Flight Magazine, the photographer's lens issue. Oh, my. That's got to have some... Oh, it does have some great photography in it. I just saw a picture of a bunch of photographers. That's super meta. Oh, this one, too. All right. I guess they're really doing that. Hmm. Wow, that is a giant lens. Well, this will be fun to look through. Thank you very much. And then you also sent... NASA. Oh, it's in a NASA bag, too. I'm going to have to hang on to that. Oh, this must be the signed photo. How cool. Let's not let her rip into this. Oh, fantastic. Wow. To Mr. A, best wishes. Yeah, that's fantastic. Huh. And now I can forge his signature. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. And then we have a Kennedy Space... Oh, it's got cats! It's got astronaut cats! That couldn't be more perfect! Look at that! Kennedy Space Center. I like the one with the little orange suit on. He's kind of rolling his eyes. That's super cute. And the one the one in the full space suit has a big mustache. That's so cool. That's a really pretty... That's a nice shirt, too. The, the camera behind me was on anyway, I think. I hope I hope that caught it. Here, I'll turn it around to the main camera just in case. There we go. Such a nice shirt, and it's very soft. That's going to be great to wear. Thank you. Uh, I just don't know if you said that for me or DJ, but it doesn't matter because we're both going to end up wearing it. That's how it works around here. Uh, I'm going to put it back in the NASA bag because I want to keep that. And there's also a Ron John Surf Shop sticker. Oh, to add to my sticker collection. One of a kind. Oh, my God, look, their logo. One of a kind. In quotes, in finger quotes, one of a, this is this is something that's been an ongoing point of contention between DJ and I, I suppose. Um, she's just bothered. I think that it bothers me. People say one of a kind when one of a kind would literally mean that there's a lot of them. There's a the whole kind, you know. The, there's it's just one of that kind. So um, it's uh, you know something people use to mean the exact opposite of that. And of course, I understand that, but uh, yeah, we've been we've been going on back and forth about that for a long time. So I love that they've got one of a kind on there. That's spectacular too. Who knew? All right, uh, thank you so much. That is some cool stuff. Okay, moving along. I feel a tunnel in here. I can tell that's what's inside here, or maybe a pop-up pod. Huh? It is a tunnel. Oh, it's a nice pink tunnel. Uh, black and pink. That's cool. And it says, 
Dear Crank, we hope you enjoy this tunnel. It's one of our favorites. Love to Heaney and Flair. Aw, I wonder if Crank's big enough for a tunnel now. She's got the little tunnels that she likes already. Do I have a pen in here? I don't have a... Oh, I do. Good, good, good. I can write Crank on it. You think put it out right now? Okay. Here, you open it up. Her mom might like it anyway. I think she's big enough to have one. And if she poops in it, we'll just be happy that she poops. So, that's nice. Please poop in the tunnel, okay? Everybody poops in the tunnel. You should try it. It's really fun. Okay. Moving right along. This says, scanned, available for pickup. Okay. Well, that's an interesting note, but we'll go with it. Ooh, well, I can guess who this is from because we're getting a lot of tahini and flair, and this is a classic toy. But no, crank and gadget from Ranau. Okay, Rano? Rano or Ranau? I don't know. I don't Rano. Uh, okay, so what we got here are Mylar balls, lots of Mylar balls. And that's good because I was just trying to find Mylar balls for the lady next door, and I did find one, so she's cool. And we know I found one. Uh, it seems like I've uh, endowed all the rest of our Mylar balls, which is a lot of my, was was a lot of Mylar balls. Uh, but this is perfect for their endowments. Oh, it's a it's a big like it's a Y shaped tunnel. Yeah. Or is it a T? Is it a Y or a T? Three -way tunnel. It's a three way. Yeah, but is it shaped like a Y or is it shaped like a T? Why? Because I want to know. DJ's not amused. Very not amused. All right. Oh, right in. Okay, very good. Oh, oh. Crank the... Wait, Crank is pooping. No, she's is she? Is she oh, she. I think she made a little. I don't know what she did. Are you gonna poop? I was just trying to help. You really look like you're focused. Oh, she is very focused. No, now she's playing unfocused. Okay, that's fine. I'm glad to see her getting a litter box. That's worth something. I'm glad to see her playing because you were worried that she was low energy today. But here she is biting the litter box and wrestling with it. Okay. Uh, what does this say? This says something. It said gadget. Gadget? No, it doesn't. It says gadget and crank deploy now. Cradget. Cradget deploy now. Okay, inside it says, Gadget and Crank's sweet Laura has sent you some awesome toys. We hope you have a blast. Big hugs from Mickey's, too. Signed, Mary and Crew from Mickey's Pet Supplies. They're the ones that do all of the classic pet toys, and that's from Laura. Uh, and it says, <laughs> Gadget's having a lot, a little too much fun with that tunnel. That's good. Wear yourself out, kid. Oh, I bet she would love to play the... Destroy my finger game. Here, let's use something safe. Oh, she's right on it. Oh, oh hi, hi. I know, I wish I had a quarter of that energy. She's always got those crazy eyes, too. Okay, so it said deploy now. Um, there's a lot of this stuff, though, so I don't know if we're going to deploy it all right this minute. But uh, this strawberry chocolate dipped strawberry, that's a new one. I have not seen that before. A new Yao catnip chocolate dipped strawberry. That looks like a good one. Hang on. Here. Oh, oh wow. Okay, put that in the tunnel and she just grabbed it. Oh, this is good. A little wand toy. I'll put that in here for right now. You can always use another wand toy. Uh, Laura also sent, hang on, oh, okay, they always put in a couple extra treats just for fun, wildly natural salmon cat treats. Hey, you want a cat treat? I know you've been eating every last bit of your food as soon as I put it down, so you're probably hungry. Here. Oh, Fruitables brand, Fruitables brand cat treats, that's weird. Here, you like a Fruitable? It's right there, it's right there, it's Fruitable. Okay, you definitely like a mouse. I can see you looking for one. Why don't we give you one of... What are you getting into? He's going to get into everything. You're a wild mama. Okay, what do you think? Uh, this one. How about this one? You want that? Okay. 
All right, let me put the rest of these away for now. We don't have to give them everything at once, even though it did say deploy now. Oh, okay, she's going she's just gonna bite that mouse. That's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna stack these up until we have a box to put them in. I've still got a handful of cat treats to give her too. As soon as she's done playing with both of those toys at the same time, she has the mouse and the strawberry. She's also thinking about doing it in the tunnel. Meanwhile, a little crank here, still playing in the litter box. Why don't you do some poops in there, kiddo? All right, well, you think about it. Oh my God, I thought that was... It's like I'm just picking her up and shaking her. I'm going to shake the poop out of you. <laughs> yes. All right. Wow, she's into playing this morning, though. Mom must have gotten her a little bit uh, excited, all this activity going on. Oh, I thought Mom ate that treat, but it's still sitting here. She's too busy playing with that white mouse. Wow. It doesn't seem that different than the ones that she has, but uh, she is a kick puncher, yeah. Oh, look at that wild. She's such got such wild eyes. What is this? Oh, this says, my secret Santa recipient requested me to send a little something to Gadget and Crank. Happy K.A. Christmas in July from Pesto Mayo, a secret Santa. Pesto Mayo has sent us two little Christmas in July pumpkin catnips for Gadget and Crank. Yes, that's what it said, Gadget and Crank. Wow, this kind of looks like a tiny get crank. Yeah. And I bet, oh, do you want another toy to play with? Okay. I know, she's just, oh, she's, oh and she, this mouse is all wet. Oh, now she's going to eat those treats. Okay. All right, I'm going to save those pumpkins to go home in their endowments, okay? Because uh, she's got so many things to play with right this second. Pesto Mayo, thank you so much for that, and thank you for participating in our Discord Secret Santa. Uh, I think it's wonderful, and I, I never participate because it doesn't seem, I don't know, fair somehow. Um, oh, look at that. There was another chocolate dipped strawberry in there, a white one. No, no, you already got one. You can't eat them all at once. I know. I've tried. Go. Oh, yep. Go. Where's the one you just got? Where is it? Okay. <laughs> She's so hyper. Oh, my goodness. She just never, ever stops. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying thank you, Pesto Mayo, for being part of the, the K8 uh, Secret Santa. I think it's so cool that everybody does that. Uh, it's just wonderful. It's, uh, people are so generous to each other. I know my little Crank there is looking a little concerned by all this. Mom, are you okay? Yeah. No, no, no. I can tell you, your mom's not okay, kid. I know. She just did a roll. Oh, my goodness. Keep the blue side up. Okay. Oh, hi. Okay. Keep rolling. <laughs> I think there's catnip in that white thing and also in that chocolate covered strawberry. So yes. Okay. I recognize the artwork on this package means that it is from Lisa G and that I think all of us can guess what must be in here. Some adorable pictures of Tiny Crank when she was super little and her mom. <laughs> Gadgy, what are you doing? Here you go. All right, as suspected, laser pointers for that. Oh, okay. I know. She does have the energy of a thousand cats. There's also the note. Okay to read on stream. Hi, hi. Okay, do you want to read it? Why don't you just read it for us? We have a pizza cat, an outer space pizza cat with slices of pizza. Oh, my goodness. That looks yummy, too. If a kitten eating pizza in space doesn't make your day awesome, then I'm out of ideas. Hello, Kitten Academy. Enclosed, you will find the usual endowments for Gadget and Crank. Little Crank gets Z, uh, gets two pictures. Oh, are there two pictures? Oh, there's one on the back, too, waving. Oh, that's so cute. She always puts a picture of them as kittens on their lasers. And there's one on the back here, too. Uh, because she's so stinking cute. Thank you so much for taking such wonderful care of those girls. From Lisa G, Cheeto, and Beans. Thank you very much. I can't... What were she doing Bean's original names? 
Lisa G's kittens. Do you remember which ones they were before they got renamed to, to Cheeto and Beans? Because I can never remember when I want to. DJ doesn't either. She's not going to check the... Uh, uh, um, yeah. No, it's okay. You don't have to. All right. Uh, this box, addressed to us, has some stuff written on the inside that says... I don't know what it says, actually, but there's two drawings of kittens to go with whatever it says. Ooh. And a whole bunch of crocheted goods. It says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I hope that everything is all right for you both. Please, please find enclosed a variety of items for KA. Use as you see fit. All right, so there's an inventory. Uh, oh, this is all from Teresa T., who has sent us some wonderful crocheted stuff, uh, knit stuff, crocheted stuff. Uh, it's fine. I'm going to say crocheted again. Oh, thank you. So Teresa T. has sent us some crocheted stuff before. In fact, isn't there something in here? The banana, I think, it, probably. Teresa T. Oh, there's more bananas right here. Those bananas are so cool because the peel is a separate piece. There we go. Oh, that smells pretty catnippy to me. I love the fact that the banana comes out. Oh, and there's catnip stuffed in there. That's just the packing material. That's, the, that's how there we are. Yeah. Well, they also, they go everywhere, though. Um, so. Oh. <laughs> she's really going to, though. Uh, okay, so we got a whole bag of banana. Oh, another lobster. There's one of those in the bedroom that I've been wrestling with her with. You probably have seen on the stream. That's a good one. There's a funny little hat. Oh, my goodness. Will you wear this funny little hat? It's too cute, and I bet you will, because you're so small, you can't do anything to stop me. She's like, I want to stop you, though. Oh, that's too much. Wait, Mom, wait. I know. She's like, I hate this. I hate it. Get it off of me. Okay, we'll take it off. Give me one second, though, because you're too cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Here, you can just wear it like that, like uh, like it was got too... Oh, that's no, not going to stay on her back that way. Hi. Oh, you want to play with it because it's got catnip on it. Okay. Well, we don't need that. That's super cute. Tiny little hat. Uh, what is this, a jellyfish? No, it's a crab. Oh, I see. I think. Wait. I'm confused by all the attachments on it. It's got some weird... Uh, why can't I identify this object? I'm going to go back to jellyfish because it's got little bits of things and jellyfish are kind of like that and it's got this part that's clearly like jellyfishy. So, I like jellyfish. That's what we're going to go with. Oh, a chicken leg, a strawberry that's got a smiley face on it. These are so cute. And uh, some kind of eggy egg thing, I guess. I don't know. The yellow there makes it look like it's trying to be something, but it's not quite identifiable. This says Dr. DJ and Mr. A on it. A little kick pillow. Dr. DJ and Mr. A. That's super cute. There's like three of those bananas in there. That is some fun stuff. All right. Um, we also have a pineapple drawstring bag with four cloth bags inside, just as described. Look at that. That's such a cool bag. Wow, that must have been fun to make. Huh, that looks like a lot of work. That's really cool, too. It actually looks like a little pineapple, and those drawstrings have little yellow pineapple bits on them. That is so cool. Uh, I really like that. Uh, let's see here. This There's a thing here that says, well, let's see. It says cat plush with no catnip. All right, that's exactly what this is. A black kitty with big eyes. And it also says cat sweater. Well, that's exactly what it is. I don't know what I was expecting. It is indeed a cat sweater. That's really pretty, too. That's a nice shade of brown. That's going to look very good on somebody who will wear it. Um, okay, crab chili pepper. Oh, I see. There's a cheat sheet here. Crab, we saw. Chili pepper. That was not a strawberry, I guess. It was a chili pepper. That makes sense, too. Chicken leg, uh, two bananas, a uh, white ball, a hat, two lemons, a lobster, and a pillow. So I guess it was a crab. Hmm. All right. Well, I guessed crab in there at some point. Okay. Then you also sent... Uh, some more cat carrier covers. You sent six of them with a really cute cat print on them. Those are fantastic. I've been using the ones that you sent before with the space print on them pretty extensively, so thank you for sending us even more. Are you in there? 
Oh, she's so wild. She's got such big eyes. Come on, hurry up, camera. Okay. Here. What? Did I surprise you in the bag? Okay. Okay. You love mailbags, don't you? You just love everything going on. It's a lot of stuff for you. Mm -hmm. So cool. Teresa T., thank you. This is some great stuff. It's really fun. I especially like that pineapple bag, though. That's wonderful. I'm going to probably keep that in my office and put all kinds of things in it. Uh, let's see here. Or maybe I'll put stuff in it in here, since, you know, the pineapple theme is kind of for this room, isn't it? Okay, uh, for the meantime, I'm going to put that right there, and we're going to open this box with my knife. There it is. Okay, good. Do you think this says anything on the outside that I should have looked at? It says, Callie's mom. All right, Callie's mom. Ooh, happy Prime Day. <laughs> Deploy or endow as you see fit from Callie's moms. Wonderful. Deploy or endow. So happy Prime Day. I guess we got some discounts on Amazon. There's two of these, and I think they are marshmallow beds. So I think this one's pink. Let's take a look and see if it is. You can always use more marshmallow beds. I don't think we have a single spare marshmallow bed. In fact, we might not have to have any marshmallow beds at all. Uh, at least as far as I can think. Um, I can't picture where any are in the house right now. Of course, we do have stuff made of that material. The monster bed. Yes, this one is pink. You want to check the other one and see if it's also pink? That could be fun. I think it is. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. That's definitely pink. Okay, so Callie's moms, thank you very much for uh, restocking us on some pink marshmallow beds. That's a fun color, too, and I guess we kind of got a pink thing going in this room. We got that. It's kind of salmon colored. There's a pink there and a pink there. So uh, we're getting close to doing all the pinks here. Now, look, why don't you play with the toys that are already unpacked? We're just going to use this box now. We can put these things into it. There we go. Even this we can stack on there. Look, uh, you got this. That's from before. That's not even new. Are you eating in the litter box again, kiddo? You know, DJ should take you and give you some lunch. We brought her... So, she's been eating uh, baby food. And I've been trying to switch her to mom and baby cat because that's something the cats will usually go for. But... So far, even mixing it with baby food, she doesn't like it as much as eating just straight baby food. And then with her issues pooping, DJ has decided that she should eat just straight baby food because it's more liquidy. And uh, DJ thinks that that's going to help her with the pooping. So anyway, that's just a long way of explaining that she's been eating all of her meals in the bedroom because if I try to bring baby food anywhere around her mom, mom will just push her out of the way and eat it. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that's the deal there. Anyway, it's probably about time for her to go and get some more. We'll do it right after mailbag. We've got three more boxes over on the other side of the room. So, uh, eeny, meeny, miny. Okay, we'll put that back in there. We'll put that in there because that's going to be stuff for us, which means we'll also put... These are going to go downstairs where the endowments are, and this is going to go, I think, to my office. I can't hear you, but I was saying you should take Crank and give her another dish of baby food. Because she's trying to eat all the litter. She, I don't know if she's hungry or just doing what kittens do. She just eats litter. Yeah, but you can at least try her out. There's Where is a, she? I don't know. I just lost oh, track right, of her. Right behind you. There is. Uh, she's right behind me, isn't she? There's a um, jar of baby food in the bedroom that yeah, is still exactly. fresh. It was just opened it this morning. Okay. So you can just dump some of that into her bowl and see if she wants to eat it. And if she doesn't, you can bring it right back. Because oh, mom. Yeah. yeah. Were you asking me something through the door? Can you push yeah, those three boxes ask. over here while you're standing there? If I could bring teaspoon here and hold them. But oh, with her? Yeah, she's a little wild. Yeah, but like if I hold them. I still think she's a little wild. I was planning on after mailbag. Ah! Uh, wow, she does attack your leg. She doesn't do that to me. No, it's because my pants are loose. Oh, I see. Um, thanks. I, I could have got them, but thank you. Um, wait, I was going to say something. What was it? I felt important-ish. All right, can't have been that important. That's fine. Oh, 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 oh my God, nice save. Wow. <laughs> Little crank almost jumped out of her arms and DJ managed to catch her. What? 
Yeah, right, right. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, I you just can't hear you through the door. DJ said she's used to getting flipped around from her mom, so that's okay. <laughs> it's just, it makes sense. Yeah, she's had lots of practice with that. So, wow, that gave me a real fright for a second, though. DJ, too, I could see her panic. All right, this is also from Callie's mom, so this must be another Amazon Prime Day special. What is this one? Oh, aha, just what we were talking about. More baby food for the baby. Wow, that's perfect, because that's all she's eating right now. Of course, I just bought a whole bunch, too. And it is the chicken flavor, just exactly the right thing. Well, thank you. And it does say, Happy Prime Day. Thank you for all you do from Callie's Moms. That's uh, plural, Callie's Moms. So thank you so much, Callie's Moms. Uh, that is fantastic. Yes. Okay. Moving right along. Oh, I was going to tell DJ that I was talking about thinking about taking her to go play with maybe Teaspoon or probably Cash by putting them in the same room and then having a wand toy or something they're both will be really excited to chase after and hopefully get her more interested in the toy than in being upset at the other kitty and that way they can kind of learn to be around each other. That's a real good technique for introducing a cat that's real play motivated like she is. Uh, so that's certainly something I will do but I don't know if I'm going to do it right after mailbag today after all because um, well, one big reason is I have a lot of other stuff I want to get to. Uh, but the other one is she's especially wild right now and has been jumping at the door uh, every time one of those cats comes by. So I don't know if it's the right time to try that. Oh, she is wild, though. <laughs> she just... <laughs> Uh, happy Prime Day once again for Dilute New Moms Tinies once they arrive. So again, Callie's Moms, you sent quite a bit. This says cat uh, wall mounted. So I don't know exactly what it is because the box is very plain. But it must be some kind of a wall mounted toy for cats. Let's take a look. That sounds fun. Yeah, I don't know if I've, uh, everybody knows, but the New Moms name is hazelnut wow hazelnut this is the real nut though is that camera on you guys have got to see her just flipping out over that new mouse toy i don't know you guys don't have to see what i'm doing anymore so why don't i just move that camera to be looking all over there okay that should get most of her crazy is Wow. Oh, what is this? Some sort of cardboardy thing. And it's got all kinds of parts. Oh, I see. That's very cool. It's more of a, it's, I don't know, it says wall mounted, but I don't think it is, is it? Oh, actually it might be. I don't know. It looks more like a big rocking chair to me, though. Uh, it says funny boat shaped cat scratcher. Well, that just describes it pretty well, actually. It comes in two parts like this. So, uh, and this goes on the bottom, so it'll rock back and forth when they, when they climb on it. I think that'll be a lot of fun for them. Uh, and then in the middle, there's a big decoration that's got these little balls on it for them to play with. So I'm not going to put it together right now, but that's very cool. That looks like a fun one. Oh, and it's got a couple little ball tracks built into it. Hmm. I quite like this. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. You know, uh, I, rem I was thinking about when all the way back in Illinois, like for the very first classes that we had, there were these baskets that we used to like to have out for them that had these big round handles on top. They were like flat baskets, like kind of shaped like a walk. And then they had big handles on the side that were round. Um, and uh, if you put them upside down, the, the handles would act as a pivot point. She did not. Okay. Anyway, the handles would act as a pivot point when it was upside down, and the kittens could run under it and rock it back and forth by jumping on top of it. And uh, one could hide under it, and you know, it was just a, it was a real fun little dynamic thing. And this um, this is not exactly the same thing; they won't be able to go under it, but I think it's the same kind of fun for them. That's going to be really cool. This is for hazelnuts kids, oh, wow. and uh, it's a like it's like a it's like a cat scratcher that's shaped with like a like a boat, so it's gonna rock back and forth. I think they'll have fun with it. All right, you're a little small to be jumping off of there. I know you would though. I know you would though. Oh, okay. 
Hang on. Uh, that's the last box we have to open, though. And we already know what's in it, though, don't we? Everybody. I know everybody knows what's in there. I do. Process of elimination. If there's one box left and there's one thing we heard about during mailbag that we're still expecting... Oh, she's eaten, though. She weighs 16 even now. So, did she eat anything for you? Yeah. And then she nursed a whole point two from Mom. She did. That got her up to 15.8. She ate point three ounces worth of food and then uh, she must have eaten another point two worth of milk uh, it's baby food this morning i just put her in front of it and she ate yeah yeah she just isn't hungry right now it's because she's full she's got 16 she's got so an extra point two ounces of mom's milk in her so what do you mean she has to if she she had to have there's no place else that point two could have come from oh the water she drank a bunch of water Right? We watched her drink water. That could be it. She could have. Whoa! Flying, Mom! She's flying after Crank. I saw her fly. Like, she was up there. I know. She flies. Here, you go up there with Mom where you might be safe for a minute. Okay, let's open this last box. It's got to be from Tahini and Flair. And it's got to be the ball tracks, right? So it is. Yes. It says, a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. All right. That's some note, but at least we already know who this is from. Uh, now, there's a bunch of packing material here. I just want to make sure there's nothing bonus in here. There's not, but I bet I know somebody that would think this packing material was fun. Hang on. Let's try this. I know. I know. She'll play with anything that will let her. What's in here? Are you worn out now? Are you taking a break? What is this? She's breathing hard and sitting down over there. I think she actually wore herself out. But she's not going to stop her from running over here. Yeah. Well, I don't know if she's going to go in. Oh, she is going to go in there with all that. Oh, oh hi, crazy eyes. Wow. Uh, look at you. Hello. Oh, yeah, crazy face. Yes, you are. You're crazy face. Look at your tail sticking out the top. <laughs> she is such a joy. She's such a ridiculous joy. Is that, is that a Martha? I can't believe her name was Martha. I know. Okay, uh, I just posted those pictures and the ones I took earlier on Discord, so very cute. All right, that's mailbag, though. Look at that. We did it. The thing I was going to say to you before it was that I was thinking of taking her downstairs to the living room with either Cash or uh, Loganberry and then getting a wand toy and getting her really focused on that so they can hunt together. And I think that would be a perfect way to introduce her to some of the other cats, but I decided I'm not going to do that right now. Mm -hmm. Or somebody she could wrestle with, like like I was thinking maybe even Custard. Oh, that's a big ask. He's the one that wouldn't get offended by it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, we're not going to do that right now, but that's uh, something that we, that should be how we introduce her, I think, when we're ready. Right now, she's been just jumping at them at the door, so I don't think she's in the right mindset. Oh, she's definitely wild right now. <laughs> I know. Parkour, parkour. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody, for everything. What a wonderful mailbag. That was a lot of fun for me. Uh, everything from pineapples to astronauts. That's, uh, that's some diversity in our mailbag. I really enjoy it. Hi. Are you ready to take a big, long nap now? Nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, 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 nom. What? Nom, 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 nom. If you think that's annoying, imagine how your kid feels about you. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to turn off my mic and put the regular one on before I forget and do something like go to the bathroom. Oh, dizzy. Wow, I stood up pretty quick there. All right, hang on. You can't really go by her belly because she just feels so bloated all the time. Oh, good. I thought she did feel like a big old bag of, of juice. But, uh, all right, good. Um. All right, where's all this stuff going? This is going downstairs for down. This, this is all going downstairs. <laughs> This actually can mostly go downstairs too for now for sorting. All except for the astronaut stuff and the baby food. So let me take this and then I'll come back for the rest. No door running. Very none. That's all going somewhere else. This is going all the way to the basement. No, it's not. It's going to go right over here to sit next door for us to assemble. around her already I and mean, she was still pretty upset about it.
So I think wild. the noise that that thing makes. I know it's been dying for such a long time. Now it's just like it's just like, like a very quiet out. dying yell. No, that's it. It just keeps going. <laughs> Probably nobody can hear it, but I can hear it. Just a. Uh, it like, sounds like the world's like like a balloon that's a mile away having the air let out of it. Like, it's like, like this quiet little balloon. Or like a fizzy, like a fizzy drink. Could be, um, yeah, right. It's been opened, but it has just the air going through. Yeah, it has it going to mm -hmm. yeah, it does kind of sound like that too. You're right.